What is alchemy? So most people will be talking about the transformational aspect, the alchemical journey, but I like to also tie in with the alchemist archetype. So this might be a little bit different from what you normally hear. Now, most people, when they're traditionally talking about alchemy, they are referring back to, of course, the ancient alchemists who were obsessed with turning lead into gold. Now, a lot of times these days when you're hearing people talk about alchemy and alchemists, it is not about the literal chemical and experiments and the alchemical processes of the traditions. It is the symbology. It is talking about the process of transformation, the alchemical process of transformation. So there are so many people out there calling themselves alchemists. This is why it is an archetype. There are so many people out there who are soul alchemists, spiritual alchemists, um, transformational alchemists, all kinds of ways they bring in the word alchemy and alchemist, and it is because it is an archetype. So what is the alchemist archetype and what does it do? So those who know um, and follow my work, I am in love with Caroline Mice's four survival archetypes, the child, the victim, the saboteur, and the prostitute. And the saboteur is our sabotaging patterns. It is our inherited patterns. It is our belief systems that we take on in our journey as we're growing up. And sometimes we take on other people's belief systems. And sometimes things happen to us like little mini traumas, which then we create a belief system from. These are all tied into the saboteur archetype. Now, in one of uh, Caroline's uh, courses I purchased, there was a gentleman who got up on the stage, Jim Curtin, and he talked about the uh, four archetypes that work with the um, self-esteem, the, the survival archetypes. And they are the sovereign, the warrior, the alchemist, and the lover. And these are the higher archetypes that can help pull you out of your survival um, archetypes. So the child can be transformed into the sovereign or the queen or the king. The victim uses the warrior to pull themselves out of their victimhood. The alchemist is the key here with the saboteur. So if you're in a sabotaging pattern, you call upon the alchemist archetype to help pull you up, pull you out of it. The lover is the archetype that helps pull you up out of the prostitute. Now, side note, prostitute archetype has nothing to do with sex. It is where do you give your power away? Where do you shape shift and people please? Where are you compromising your morals? Where are you suppressing your truth? Where are you hemorrhaging your life force? to somebody else, to a company, to something else. You know that you're doing wrong on a daily basis, that you continue to do so. That is your prostitute. You're prostituting your soul. So the ones we want to focus in on here is the saboteur and the alchemist. Now, with my work, I fully acknowledge Caroline, and I also talk and acknowledge Jim. And... I have developed what I call my archetypal empowerment process and program, which brings them into your self-esteems and soul-esteems. So I don't just stick with those four. I talk about all the archetypes which I consider to be in your self-esteems, causing problems, the addict, the judge, the shadow judge, by the way, and the procrastinator, the perfectionist, the shapeshifter. The list goes on, there's many. And then we have our soul esteems, which I call your higher archetypes, which are tied in with your purpose. So there is the seer, the priestess, the mystic, the um, shaman, there's, there's many. 
but for alchemy you need to just focus and will concentrate on talking about just the relationship between two so if you are wanting to transform anything in your life what i consider the self-esteem or a wounding a trauma a past life problem anything that is presenting in your life that needs transformation then you call upon the alchemist archetype and you start to experiment on healing this pattern now you might need to concentrate on mind and reprogramming your thoughts you might need to do energy work to transform it in your field you might need to do both you might need to redo a habit you might have to unprogram self-belief patterns that were gifted to you and I say gifted in like commas because it's a very unlo unloving gift but sometimes our parents give us patterns of which it is our soul contract and a part of our journey to unprogram and go through the journey of I am valuable enough and I am worthy enough to not live this way anymore and I'm going to unprogram this and you need the alchemist now some things are easy to alchemize but when they're not you need a second archetype to help you through and that is the warrior so that warrior comes in and I call it the three C's courage commitment and conviction and just like you can have the alchemist where things can be easy when you're calling in that strong fierce warrior energy Sometimes you need to go to the utmost level, which is conviction. And you take conviction with your warrior and your alchemist and you put them together and you never, ever give up. And this is alchemy. This is how you transform. One of my key catchphrases I use with my clients all the time is there is no such thing as failure. It's just data for your alchemist. I actually like to put that on a T-shirt. And what it means is, in essence, we'll use the gentleman who created the light bulb. I think his name is Edison. He said, and it's a famous quote, and I'm totally missaying it here, but you'll understand the context. He famously says, I didn't have 300 and 60 failures when creating a light bulb I had 360 ways that you don't create a light bulb he didn't consider them failures so just 300 different ways of not creating it and that is in essence what you need to tap into when you are transforming any program pattern self-belief trauma anything in your life is you don't give up it just didn't work it's no such thing as failure. You don't allow yourself to go into any storm stories, any dramas, no nothing. You just continue to work upon it. Never give up. A lot of people have a really strong alchemist archetype and don't even know that they do. They just naturally have got that part of themselves which never stops. They'll just always work their way around things, puzzle things out. Another aspect which I talk about with the archetype is you can have the puzzle master. So the alchemist can see really big picture stuff. They'll see how this trait and this wording and that old viewpoint and that teacher and, and this person in my current life they all are causing the, the friction and, and this has come up to be healed and you see it and all connected. So it's really being able to see things by their patterns 
and and link things together to understand why this is happening. Now, there's four levels to the alchemist archetype. I call them the unconscious alchemist, the conscious alchemist, the alchemist, and your master alchemist. Now, I'm going to have to do like a training just on these alone. And when I do, I'll come back and I'll put the link in below this video. But it would take too much to go into essence of it. But I'll very quickly describe it. Your unconscious alchemist are the people who don't even know that they have an alchemist and they actually don't believe that there is any hope. They can't get out of the pattern. They're stuck in the drama. They don't even know that they have the power to change their lives. No desire to. They're very unconscious. And then the next level, the conscious alchemist, is the people who know I have the patterns, I have the problems. So a conscious alchemist might be, okay, I know that I'm a people pleaser. But they're aware of the patterns, but they're not really doing much about it. They kind of are in that assessment level where they're becoming conscious of things, but they're not actually fully committed. They haven't worked hand in hand with that warrior and said, like, we're going to do this. I know many people who are in this stage, they know that they have the pattern, they know that they're a procrastinator, they know that they're a perfectionist, they know that they're a people pleaser, they know that they have a repeating self-belief that's negative and causing them harm, they know that they have the imposter syndrome, they know that they're petrified of what people are going to say and do about them so they have abandonment issues. They have all these things, but they're not quite ready to do anything about them. And that's why they're above the unconscious, but they fully haven't stepped up to that next level. So I call them the unconscious alchemists. No, sorry. <laughs> I call them the conscious alchemists. So you have the unconscious, not aware of their power. You have the conscious alchemists who are aware that they have problems but aren't doing anything about them. And then the third level is the alchemist. And you step up into fully using this archetype when you actively are transforming. You know that you've got the problem, like the conscious alchemist, the second level, but you're now doing something about it. You're getting therapy. You're... Um, watching YouTube videos like this, you are reading books, you're having conversations, you're having a spiritual awakening, you're joined a coaching program, you're doing freebies, you're in a meditation group or a men's group or a women's group, you are doing something to transform your life. Congratulations, you're on level three. And most people stay in this level. Most people are really happy to be transforming their work and, and really activating and doing it. You have some people then who step up into that fourth level and become the master alchemist. And these are usually the people who are either coaches and helping other people transform. They're on some kind of spiritual journey and they really are in depth and on their spiritual journey. And they're usually teachers or mentors in some way. Even if they don't step up and say, hey, I'm going to mentor, I'm going to coach, they'll be in essence like the crone or the shaman, which have people who are drawn to them or sometimes a priestess too or the priest. And they people drawn to them and they give advice naturally and they help people. So they're not getting paid for it, but they archetypally are playing that role for a lot of people. When you step up into the master alchemist, you learn to actually love the shadow work. 
And this is the big differential kind of difference between the master alchemist and the alchemist level three and level four. So about, I don't know, six to nine months ago, I started to notice an increase in um, the things that people were saying to me as I really up-leveled into this, what I consider now this fourth level. And beforehand, I would have only called myself an alchemist. But I've realized there is another level above that. And I had to give it a name. So I called it the master alchemist. And it's because I really love every time a pattern comes up to be healed, I embrace it wholeheartedly. And I had increasing amounts of people saying to me, you know, I love how you think because I immediately go to the symbology. I go immediately into this is why. Oh, look at this. This is a lesson. This is the beauty of it. And sometimes, I'll be honest, it annoys my friends because they just want to vent or they want to be witnessed in their shadow and I'm having to make sure that I'm not bombarding them with enthusiasm for the shadow work because I get really excited by it even if I'm in the void space so most people don't even have to obtain and want to get to the fourth level but everybody on the planet should be and wanting to be on level three and just have a really solid alchemist archetype who is really just so excited to no longer have these patterns oh my god I've got a procrastinator let's do something about it I have a severe inner critic let's do something about it I have an imposter syndrome let's do something about it and you really work with that conviction of the warrior and you never give up so that is in essence what alchemy is to me and how I tie it in with the alchemist archetype. Now, I have tons of free resources, masterclasses, things that are always being done and the best place to really connect and stay in a solid container is either by joining my newsletter or being in my Facebook group. So I'm going to put the link below for my Facebook group because there's stuff in the guide section and you also get to see what I'm doing behind the scenes and it's a private group as well, completely free and you can enjoy being in that space and learning. If you're wanting to take things to the next level, I have an invitation for you. I just created what I'm calling it the Alchemist Lab membership or the Alchemist Lab community. And it's on Kajabi Communities. And it is a paid membership with a really low cost of $9 a month. Now, in this membership, what you get is meditations, masterclasses, like a coaching Q&A. I have a guest speaker or healer somebody who is in the alchemy realm who I think can provide value for everybody. And also on the 15th of each month, I want to do prayers for the planet. So that is just something that I want to do is to give back. There'll be past masterclasses in there, pop-up events. I really want it to be a beautiful community that's off social media and it is dedicated alchemists so this group is for people who are wanting to go from level two to level three and actively work upon their issues be witnessed in their journey get valid information about alchemy and how they can help talk about hey i'm, I'm going through this issue and these are the steps that I'm going to be doing and what I can do about it instead of just doing nothing. If you're an unconscious alchemist or a conscious alchemist, so you're level one and level two, and you totally don't believe that there is anything that you can do to change your life, 
I still think that you can get value from this group because there will be the healings, there will be the meditations, there will be a supportive group. It is not a group for you to come in and just talk about your problems and then do nothing about it. This is the alchemist lab. This is where you come in and you declare to the universe, this is what I'm working on, and then you do it. You take those steps. So it's all about inspired action and inspired alchemy. I just really want people to stop sitting in their patterns and do nothing about it. And I want to have a really supportive group that is for alchemists, just like myself, and get tons and tons of value from it. So I hope you understand how the alchemist archetype helps pull us up out of our sabotaging patterns and our self-esteem issues and how we have that power to consciously transform our lives. This is what we're wanting to do with it. This is what alchemy is. So I'll put the link below for my Facebook group and for the Alchemist Lab community. And I hope you come join. And I have tons of resources in my Facebook group as well. So I hope you found this informative. Leave me a comment, like and subscribe and come join my world. Bye for now.